Hello, everyone. Praise God. Praise God. I hope that you are having a blessed day. I am just hitting. Um, I'm just sticking and moving. I'm going to be honest with you. God is on me. You know how he gets on me sometime where it be back to back. And excuse me, I don't have to um, do a long story about it. Just short and complete. And I've seen this my whole life. So I'm going to look at, look at the title. It says, leaders, pastors of churches, stop using witchcraft, curses, spells to scare the people who attend your church. So I'm going to go ahead and hit this real hard and then I'm get out of here. I hear so many people say, apostle, my pastor said this. Well, if you leave this church, your finances is going to be bad. If you leave this church, something you're going to get cancer. That's witchcraft. Stop scaring people of God with that foolishness. Y'all been doing that since I was a little girl. If you put your mouth on the pastor, this. Now, some things are true as far as, you know, God says, touch not my anointing and do my prophets do harm. That's everybody, though. That's not just one person. Of course, we want to be in order. Don't get it twisted. So let me clarify my words. Those leaders that are walking biblically in biblical principles and doing the right thing. Yes, you're not supposed to disrespect your leader in such things. But wait a minute. It's a two-way fold. Leaders, you're not supposed to be scaring your, your um, attendees. Talking about, uh, I don't want y'all to visit no other churches. The devil is a lie. If the Spirit of God leads you to visit another church, another conference, you go ahead and do what God say. These people are not your God. Yeah, I love everybody. I ain't coming against everybody. But y'all out, out of order. That's witchcraft. That's spell curses. Oh, this is going to happen to you if you leave the church and if you and got people all scared. That's not God. That's control, manipulation, which is witchcraft. Then y'all ostracize them. If y'all get too mad at them, y'all talk about them over the pulpit. God going to get you for that. Then y'all tell other people. And then so when they walk up in there, you can tell when somebody been talking about you because not everybody acting. And no, 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 y'all don't get to do that. Because just like the, the scriptures say, touch not my anointed, people are anointed too. Pastor, preacher, teacher, apostle. You're not the only one anointed. You're not the only one to hear from God. Y'all need to stop that foolishness. I don't, I'm not the only one to hear from God. Truth be told, everybody hear from God. It's just different levels. And, and are you willing to be obedient? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Y'all need to stop with all that witchcraft. That's witchcraft. That's called Christian witchcraft. You're not supposed to manipulate anyone. God is our God. Now, God give us leaders. That's true. But it's a respect both ways. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all doing too much. Y'all really are. You know, no, you have to do things by the oracles of God, which is the biblical principles of God. Point blank in the story. You don't get to manipulate people. You're not supposed to do that. Putting pressure on people over the pulpit. That's pimping. That's what that is. That's straight up pimping. You're doing the same thing y'all did in the world. Some of you, you know. Sleeping with the ladies, taking advantage of the single women. You, <laughs> God going to get you. Y'all wondering why people getting exposed because of the stuff y'all doing is out of order. Y'all are misusing God's people. Check this out. Even if I'm, I'm, I'm over the Internet, right? I'm still held at the same principles. No one gets away with anything. Sooner or later, God going to expose you on every level. And that's me, you, anybody. They ain't just, you know, this is real talk here. But y'all stop putting that pressure on people. And then you got people all scared and talking about, well, I, and then they don't want to leave because y'all, well, if you leave, you ain't going to help. First of all, I'm going to tell you right now, they tried that with me several times. I'm not going to even say the pastor name. When I said God had told me to go, they embarrassed me in front of the whole congregation. God said, open not your mouth. I could have said something to him. I didn't. I left my mouth closed. God did what he did. I ain't got to say nothing to you crazy. So even when pastors and leaders act crazy, don't you dare act crazy with them. God sees everything. But I will tell you this. You don't have to stay anywhere and be abused or misused. I don't care who it is. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That's not God. God is never going to tell you to stay somewhere where you crying. You, you go on to church smiling and leave crying. The devil is a lie. Are you being uh, ostracized? That's a good one because that's manipulation. When you get everybody talking about them, don't want to talk to them, that, that feels bad. So then that makes people conform and to do something that they don't even want to do, that they not even feel led to do. But here's the deal. Some of that's y'all fault. Y'all got to take, take some responsibility. If you start seeing something that is not of God, let me tell y'all something. It's the best way to do it. I hear you, God. You can't outgrow a church and a ministry. It doesn't mean that you didn't learn from them. It doesn't mean that you don't love them. Everybody processes differently. Everybody goes to different levels. 
what is meant for a level and a season may be over with. You got to release those people with love and blessings because they have, that means that they have glean from you all that was supposed to be y'all take that like people supposed to be with y'all forever the devil is a lot you see when leaders um and i build a lot of leaders and people see when they come and go i don't get mad that's not my people oh i just said something that's not our people you don't get to do that you got to release them that means that their season of learning from you is over with and god will send them to the next person and you're supposed to bless them not curse them come on somebody hallelujah not not talk about them to the congregation and then when they see people in the street girl pastor talk because y'all know it's a small big world right everybody talks and what you say it will get back to the other person i don't know y'all thinking it's a big country it really is but it isn't i found that out when i lived in california this world is big and small at the same time. I don't know how God did it, but he did it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all better stop doing that to people. Y'all talking about church hurt. There ain't no church hurt. That's church witchcraft. That's what that is. Just hurting people. You ain't got to do it like that. And if you did do something, pastor, preacher, teacher, you're supposed to be man or woman enough to say, you know what? I apologize. I didn't do that. We're human. I've done it several times. If I've done something, I, please forgive me. I, I didn't say that right. I didn't do that right. But y'all be acting all arrogant. We are not always right. Leaders, I'm going to say it again loud and clear. Leaders are always not right. We might be right as far as we're preaching. And that's an if. But we get it wrong sometimes as far as getting emotional or just being wrong or upset or angry, whichever the case may be. You're supposed to be man or woman enough of God to say, you know what, you guys, I apologize. I didn't do that right. Y'all got to get it together. We got to get it together. Let me, let me rephrase that. Y'all wondering why people are leaving church, don't like church, don't want. Man, because you're, you're, you're talking too much. You're hurting people too much. Trying to make people do something, manipulate, which is sin, which is witchcraft. God is your God, people. Yes, respect leaders. Keep your mouth off them. And what I mean by that is you ain't got to be talking bad about people on the phone. Or like y'all don't know what I'm talking about. I got to tell y'all something what God is telling me to say. This could be, th this could be a two S war both ways. God will backlash you if that leader is anointed, but then wait a minute, leader, God will backlash you too. Y'all better stop playing, stop playing, stop playing. We got to go back to the oracles and, and really just the simple stuff. How about just respecting each other? And if you don't like each other, cool. I don't like you. You don't like me. We love each other. God bless you. Because God said, be angry, but sin not. That means you, you have a right to get angry, but don't go too far. Stop getting on Facebook. Stop doing all that stuff. Stop talking about people in the pulpit. Over the, that's not even of God. There is no way. Over that pulpit, it's just supposed to be, just like I'm doing, it's supposed to be the word of God. And lessons. Hallelujah. Our sermons. You ain't supposed to be talking about nobody. Unless it's a dust said the Lord, you are unauthorized too. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Again, if you're not building up people, you're tearing them down. And God is not with that. That is not of God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all speaking curses. You don't get to manipulate people. And, and another one, you know, about money. Oh, I, I need y'all to line up. I, I need 50 people to get $50. That's not of God. That's pimping. That's, that's money game. That's a money game. They ain't never did that in the Bible. Only y'all new generation leaders do that. Um, Psalm 104. I, I see the Lord saying, give me 104 dollars. Y'all better quit pimping. That's not God. This is protocol, people. I'm letting you know protocol. You're supposed to give whatever God tells you to. We're not supposed to beg you. And I had to learn a lot of stuff myself just to be real with y'all. We're not supposed to do all that. We're supposed to say, look, now if God lead us to ask, it better be God, by the way. But there is no, um, okay, God said, no, 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 no. Stop playing people like that. Stop playing that game. Stop manipulating people. Ten people give $10 and then y'all got money lines. What if that person can't, didn't even pay their bills, but you, come on now. Whoo, Lord, I just pray that we get it right. We all get it right. Stop hurting each other. Stop lying to each other. Stop conning each other. Stop playing games, God says. We all will be held accountable. Period. End of story.
That's what I got up on here to say. I, I get too many people. My pastor said that something going to happen to me. Is that true, apostle? Am I going to get cancer? Am I going to get sick? And I don't even ask them to lead a name because I'm crazy like that. I, I be didn't say so. I be didn't call that person. <laughs> and, I, you know, that might not be my assignment. So I don't even ask the names on purpose. Unless God would tell me to. Because I call you out. That That's cold. That's wrong. You don't tell nobody that. Or, or, or you ain't going to never have no luck if you leave this church. Like your church is the best church. That's another thing. Thank you, Lord. Y'all keep on with these slogans. The best church on this side of... Excuse me? First of all, pastor, preacher, teacher, leader, apostle. Can I bust your bubble? That's not your church. It's God's church. You are a steward of a building. That's God's people. <laughs> y'all, y'all crack me up. It's my, it's my church. It's my bill. You are a steward. God is trusting you. And some of y'all, he stopped trusting a long time ago. Truth be told, you don't want me. You don't want me. Y'all doing your own thing. Y'all like Samson. You don't even know God has left you. But carry on until the time comes that you're exposed. Yep, sure did. I said it. Whoo! Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Let me get off of here. I just had to say it because... When people tell me that and they be in, they really be in fear, like something going to happen to them. And that's not right. That's manipulation on the highest level. And God going to get your pastor, preacher, teacher. Your position, and let me tell you all what protocol is. Believe it or not, over that pulpit, it's not supposed to be politics, personal, or anything. It's supposed to be just the word of God. Anything else is against God. So that's the protocol. You start they teach about the, the voting and they ain't supposed to do that. Over the altar of God, the pulpit is supposed to be just the word of God. Yeah, now y'all know. Anything else, that's them. Oh, hallelujah to his name. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right, Sheila. They're concerned about numbers and members. That's a good one. <laughs> You're talking about the building fund. The building still ain't built. Oh, don't start with me. Don't start with me. How you going to have a building fund and a building ain't even built yet? And the building... <laughs> Lord, I know, Lord, I know, I know. I'm about to stop right here and now. <laughs> he didn't tell me to talk about the building fund. <laughs> I got to go, y'all. I got to go before I get in trouble. <laughs> Jesus, take the will. Take the will, Jesus. Help your people. I'm not laughing like y'all think. I'm just like, this ain't cool. We're supposed to be helping people. That's it. Just, just, just. Bring people back to life. Teach them, teach them and love them back to life, man. That's all we're called to do. We're not called to, to hurt people and con people. And, oh, God, can you just bring it back to simplicity? That's all God want. That's all God want. All right, you guys. God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless. <laughs>